So now in this video, we're going to modify the Blink sketch, the Blink program that comes with the Arduino board. As you can see, that sketch turns the LED on for a second and then off for a second in a loop. It keeps repeating that. This is the Elegoo Mega 2560 R3 board. It's a clone of the Arduino board. Arduino lets anybody make their boards and sell them under different names. But in any case, one of the first things you should do when you're learning coding, uh, especially with Arduino, is to take an existing program and learn how to modify it. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to modify the Blink Sketch. And uh, once we upload the new program onto the board, the Blink Sketch will go away. It only holds uh, one sketch at a time. Uh, but in any case, not all boards, Arduino boards, come with a built-in LED. Some of them, you got to use pin 13, and you can do that with this board too. Pin 13 to ground, you can wire an LED with a protective resistor for this board uh, from pin 13 to ground, and it will do the same thing. It will light that LED instead of uh, this one. This board will light uh, both this one and that one. But in any case, I'm just learning Arduino. I want to point that out right away and I'm going to make videos as I learn hopefully making it easier for you to learn. So now to begin with we open the Arduino software and I assume you know how to uh, get the software on there and stuff. I'm not going to do a video on that. There's a lot of tutorials and stuff out there to help you. But uh, to begin with we're going to modify the blink sketch. So we can go to examples, basic, and then there's the blink sketch that uh, should be the one that's on the board there. Now, we're going to modify this. We don't modify it in this area. First thing we can do is do save as. And then it brings us to the Arduino folder. And right there is a file named blink. I'm going to rename this to fast blink. Because that's what I'm going to do with this program. I'm going to make it blink faster. And now when I click save it'll put a fast blink folder in the Arduino folder with this program that I just copied but rename and we'll be able to modify it from there and so now you can see under uh, this PC documents I have an Arduino folder inside the folder now I got the fast blink and the library so fast blink now is the one I just made so this is the one I can modify all I have to do is uh, double click the folder in the program there and uh, the program opens up again the Arduino program and now I have the one that I can modify so now the first thing I'm gonna do uh, for myself is I'm gonna delete all of the notes that are on here then we can just see the uh, code and that'll make it easier to follow along so now we have the notes uh, deleted and I should have gone over this a little bit but Notes are added to programs so that either somebody else reading the program will know like why you wrote this line or whatever. You'll add a little note say what that line does or to remind yourself even. And use forward slashes to uh, make those notes. Uh, that's something to be aware of. But in any case, uh, I'm going to explain to you what's going on anyway so I don't need the notes. So what this program does is first it tells the board we're going to be using the built in LED right there so pin mode LED built in and it's going to be an output and I'm not going to go over that too much this is stuff you should pick up as you learn uh, other programs but in any case after we tell the board we're going to use that LED then we come to this these uh, lines of code and it says turn the LED on wait this is a second 1000 milliseconds before doing something else and then turn the LED off. Low is the same as off. And then wait a thousand milliseconds, one second, before doing anything else. And then this is the loop area, so it keeps looping uh, back. So that's how uh, Arduino programs are generally set up. Uh, you got the setup here. It tells you what part of the board you'll be using. And then down here, what you'll be doing. And it just keeps repeating. And so we want to shorten the time now to 500 milliseconds so now to save time I just change them to 500 without recording it so now it would be 500 milliseconds 
So half a second, it'll turn on and off instead of one second, 1,000 milliseconds. Now you'll see this little symbol here. That lets you know that we made changes to the program that have not been saved. So we're going to go up here to File. We'll click Save. Now you see that symbol went away. So we're done saving it. And uh, this program now is set this way after we made the changes. So now I plugged the Arduino into the computer using the USB cable. So now we're getting 5 volts from the USB from the computer instead of 9 volts from the uh, AC to DC adapter. But in any case, uh, any one of the USB ports in the computer will power the board. And this is also how we're going to upload the sketch to the board is from the USB cable. Now it's a little tricky you have to make sure you have the right COM selected in this case this is COM3 um, there's tutorials and stuff out there to help you if you have problems connecting just uh, do a Google search of uh, connecting Arduino to the computer or something uh, that's a lot more complicated what we're gonna do now if you're having issues I didn't have any issues really but uh, in any case now we're connected to uh, the computer via the USB port and so I'll go to the next part and uh, before we upload I just want to mention I had one problem with my first upload I think I had the wrong board selected here I have the Mega 2560 and I think there's a different board on there but uh, you can check this with tools in this area so if you have a problem uploading that may be a problem plus it's a good idea probably check this out before you try to upload and uh, as I said I'm using COM3 on my laptop I set that up uh, earlier and so we're good to go here and uh, we're going to continue with the upload so now we're ready to upload I have the board ready you can see right now we have the blink program on there every second it turns on and off instead of 500 milliseconds I made a change to 250 milliseconds it's a lot easier to see the speed difference here but now we just go to sketch here and then upload all we have to do is click upload and the program automatically starts compiling and then you'll see some LEDs flashing on the board there that lets you know that it's communicating and now you see the LED is flashing faster so we have uh, uploaded a different sketch to the board it says done uploading we know we're done now instead of sketch the uh, blink sketch we have the fast blink sketch that I programmed.